In the NBA, more so than in other sports, height can be a great advantage. Being really tall can be the difference between riding the bench your whole career or being a Hall of Fame player. Height does come with its disadvantages, though, as taller players are more injury-prone and many Hall of Fame careers have been cut short because of injuries. Today, we are looking at the 10 tallest players in NBA history. Before we begin, don't forget to subscribe to our channel and hit the notification bell so you never miss a video. Let us know in the comments section below who your favorite basketball player is. And let's begin. Number 10. Mark Eaton Mark Eaton was an American player who stood at 7 feet and 4 inches. He was the 72nd pick by the Utah Jazz during the 1982 NBA Draft. As a rookie, he had 275 blocked shots in the 81 games that he played. The following year, he broke his record as he blocked 351 shots. His third season was the highlight of his career as he set the all-time NBA record for the most number of blocks in the season, with 456 rejected shots. He spent his entire 12-year career with the Jazz and eventually had to retire because of knee and back injuries. Number 9. Ralph Sampson Ralph Sampson was another American-born player and was the first overall pick by the Houston Rockets in the 1983 NBA Draft. At a height of 7 feet and 4 inches, he was just as tall as Mark Eaton. He played at a prime level for three seasons until injuries took its toll. After three knee surgeries, he was traded and ended up playing for the Golden State Warriors, Sacramento Kings, and Washington Bullets. Throughout his 10-season career, he only played 441 games. He retired as a four-time All-Star, Rookie of the Year, and All-Star MVP in 1985. Arguably, his best NBA moment was when he made a buzzer beater to beat the defending champions, the Los Angeles Lakers, in the 1986 Western Conference Finals. Number 8. Rick Smits Rick Smits was born in the Netherlands and nicknamed the Dunking Dutchman. Like the first two players mentioned here, he also stood at 7 feet and 4 inches. He was the second overall pick in the 1988 NBA Draft by the Indiana Pacers, the only team he played for during his 12-year career. He had a consistent double-digit scoring average, and in the late 1990s, when he reached his prime, he was considered to be the number two player in the league behind Reggie Miller. His best average of points per game was during the 1995-96 season with 18.5 points per game. He was selected as an All-Star in 1998 and even reached the NBA Finals in 2000 before he retired due to injuries. He underwent multiple surgeries on his feet, left knee, and left ankle. He also went through intensive back surgery to correct cracks on one of his joints connected to his vertebrae. Number 7. Pavel Podkolzin Pavel Podkolzin was a Russian-born player who stood at a height of 7 feet and 5 inches tall. Due to his height, shot-blocking ability, and strength, he was among the top prospects in the 2004 NBA Draft. For those reasons, he was selected by the Utah Jazz, a move that the team immediately regretted. Another not well-known player named Slavko Vranes, who was also 7 feet and 5 inches, only played in the NBA for a total of 3 minutes. In the case of Putkolzin, his career almost went the same way. He couldn't cope with the competitiveness of the NBA, and he only played five games as a rookie. The following year, he went to the Dallas Mavericks, where he only played for a total of six games. After that, he never played another NBA game again. Number 6. Chuck Nevitt Chuck Nevitt was an American-born player who also stood at 7 feet and 5 inches tall. He's the only player on our list who won an NBA championship. Nevitt was the third overall pick during the 1982 NBA Draft and was selected by the Houston Rockets. During his nine-year career, he also played for the Los Angeles Lakers, Detroit Pistons, Chicago Bulls, and San Antonio Spurs. Although he played for a significant number of years, he only played a total of 155 games, for a total of 826 minutes. He played fewer than 18 complete NBA games. He played 16 playoff games in five postseasons, seven with the Lakers and Pistons, and two with the Rockets. Fortunately for him, he was a part of the 1985 Lakers championship team and became the tallest NBA player to win a championship. Number 5. Sim Bular Although born in Canada, Sim Bular was the first ever NBA player from Indian descent and also one of the tallest NBA players standing at 7 feet and 5 inches tall. He was not drafted during the 2014 NBA Draft. Instead, he was picked up by the Sacramento Kings for their 2014 NBA Summer League team. 
However, he mostly played in the NBA Development League. He signed his contract with the Sacramento Kings, but was waived two months later. Instead, he became an affiliate player of the Sacramento Kings as he played for the Reno Bighorns of the NBA Development League. In April 2015, he signed a 10-day contract with the Sacramento Kings. He was not retained by the team after the expiration of his contract. In July 2015, he rejoined the Kings, played for only one game, and then left to join the Canadian national team for the Pan American Games. Number 4. Yao Ming Yao Ming was a Chinese player who became one of the most famous athletes in his country. With a high level of athleticism and a height of 7 feet and 6 inches, his name became one of the most recognizable in NBA history. He was the first overall pick of the 2002 NBA Draft and was selected by the Houston Rockets. For his first seven games as a rookie, he only averaged four points per game, but by the end of his first season, it increased to an average of 13.5. He also averaged 8.2 rebounds. For three consecutive years, with a total of 246 games, he missed only two games. Unfortunately, during his fourth season, his injuries got so severe that he was required to have surgeries, forcing him to miss 21 games. In 2011, he announced his retirement due to a series of injuries. During his nine-year career, he made the All-Star team eight times, and in 2016, he was inducted into the Hall of Fame. Number 3. Sean Bradley Sean Bradley was a German-American player who stood at 7 foot 6 and a quarter inches. In the 1993 NBA Draft, he was the second overall pick and was selected by the Philadelphia 76ers. In his first game, he scored 6 points, grabbed 5 rebounds, and recorded 8 blocks. In his second season, he had 274 blocks, which was the new all-time franchise record. However, in his third season, he only played a total of 12 games. He was later traded to the Nets. During his third season, he averaged 27 points, 9 rebounds, and 4 blocks. In 1996, he had a career-high game with 32 points, 15 rebounds, and 10 blocks. In 1997, Bradley went to the Dallas Mavericks and played the rest of his career until he retired in 2005. Number 2. Manut Bol Manut Bol was a Sudanese-born American player that stood at 7 foot 6 and a half inches. In the 1985 NBA Draft, he was the 31st overall pick of the Washington Bullets. He had a 10-year career and is arguably the best defensive player on this list. Even at this height, he only weighed 200 pounds when he first entered the NBA. In his rookie season, he played 80 games with a record of 5 blocks per game. His 397 blocks set an all-time NBA rookie record. After three seasons, he was traded to the Golden State Warriors. After two years, he was traded again, this time to the Philadelphia 76ers. For the next three years, he only played 211 games for the 76ers. After that, he went to play for the Miami Heat. Bull later returned to his former team until he retired in 1995. He is famously known as the only NBA player to have more blocked shots than points scored. Number 1. Giorgi Muresan Giorgi Muresan was a Romanian player and is considered to be the tallest player in NBA history, standing at a height of 7 feet and 7 inches. He was the 30th overall pick by the Washington Bullets during the 1993 NBA Draft. During his rookie season, he played 54 games and averaged 5.6 points and played 12 minutes per game. The following season, he doubled his playing time to 24 minutes per game. He also scored 10 points per game and grabbed 6.7 rebounds. In his third season, Muresen won the Most Improved Player Award for putting up an average of 14.5 points and 9.6 rebounds. Unfortunately, he got injured, which negatively impacted his overall performance. He played the last two years of his career with the Nets until the year 2000. With a total of 307 games, his career average was 9.8 points and 6.4 rebounds. And there you have the 10 tallest NBA players in history. If we miss someone you think should be included on the list, sound off in the comments below. And don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to our YouTube channel. See you next time!